What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. Today, tomorrow, the next day, and the day after that are all gonna be very long days because we are taking the M4 to LA. And the reason we're going to LA is because we are going to Bimmer Invasion. Probably the biggest BMW event of the year. And we are lucky enough to be in Grail's booth. So on the car right now, we put on the Grail single mid-pipe exhaust system. We took off the Valvetronic, nothing against Valvetronic at all. Valvetronic is still a crazy good sounding exhaust system. It's just, we had the opportunity to be in a booth and go to LA for a crazy trip, so I figured it was worth it to put this exhaust back on. Here is gas stop number one. Enjoy this number while you can because when we get to Cali, it's gonna be a whole lot higher. Next stop, Weed, California. Few moments later. All right, this isn't really that good of a news for you guys, but that exhaust tip is now hanging down a little bit lower than it used to. I'm assuming I didn't tighten something all the way and it bounced and lowered. So that's a thing. But the biggest thing is on corners, when this side of the fender sags, uh, the tire is rubbing against the fender liner and cooking it. It's only happening on this side, so I'm assuming that is because, one, we have a full tank of gas, so it sags it a little bit more. Two, the alignment is off, and the toe is causing it to rub in the back because the wheel is pointed this way or this way. I'm not quite sure, I have to look at the alignment sheet again. But that's the issue we are having right now, but the car is still running great. Let's see if we can make it to Vlad in Weed, California without losing a quarter panel. Let's see. Well, we missed the sign, but we are in beautiful, flat California. And it also got like 30 degrees hotter. Well, boys, I got some bad news. The M4 lost the underglow. This is the second time. All right, what happened to your diffuser? Why is it missing a piece? I wanted to show off the Grail exhaust, that's why. That's why oh, okay, yeah, you didn't lose it, huh? <laughs> Both cars have the exact same exhaust. Let's see if they uh, sound the exact same. It's those bigger downpipes, right? Bigger downpipes. Hey, but probably means you're faster, right? Nah. No, way, too heavy. Oh, that's yeah. right. I forget those are a little bit heavier. Yeah, a lot. 400. Have you raced one of these? Like, like stage two versus stage two? Like, an, like a coupe versus a convertible? Mm -mm. Hmm. No, nah, and I don't plan to though either. We are back with Vlad, it's day two. Now we got to go to LA, which is a six hour drive. Might be seven, might be eight with traffic, but <laughs> when we get there, we gotta get a nice wash, because I am very dirty. He is also very dirty, but his color doesn't show it off as well as mine. So if you guys haven't known, Open Road Jerky has been a part of the channel for a little bit now, and they have been the snack that has been keeping me full on this drive. And I did have four bags and now we are down to one. So we got to eat this bag very, very slowly. Now this jerky isn't no regular jerky that you get at the gas station. This is like the homemade, nice, chewy jerky that your dad would make. I can't stop eating this stuff. And if you want some real jerky, go ahead and check out Open Road and use code Jake and you'll get 10% off your bag. I believe these bags are $10, so you're gonna get a dollar off. So you might as well get a couple. So go ahead, pick up a bag, let me know what you think about it, and let's go ahead and get to driving.
Daddy said, time to go G80. <laughs> well, if you can't guess by the traffic, we have successfully made it to Los Angeles. And when I say I've seen a bunch of S55s, I've seen a bunch of S55s. Like, look at that. That's an M4CS. Just chilling. Hotel and uh, <laughs> I found something. Ooh, that is that is nice. Let me check the other side. Mm, nope, look, yep, there it is. The vendor liner is poking out. <laughs> what other damages do we have? Front end looks fine. Front end looks fine. Oh, this popped out. <sighs> Underglow randomly turned on. That's weird. But hey, Vlad, we made it. Now we just gotta do 18 hours back. <laughs> Dang. We need to find a car wash. ASAP. <laughs> Today is Bimmer Invasion. We have the M4 started up. Um, I called it off cold start, so you can't really hear it that much. And that's a good thing because a lot of these people do not know it's Bimmer Invasion and would probably get really mad if they heard my car on cold start. Oh, oh, oh. We got an underpass. Oh, I almost messed that up. I almost messed that up. Oh yeah, this is, oh actually, no wait, no. This one was definitely mine. <laughs> Not my girls. Hmm. <laughs> One day, Vlad. One day soon. Oh, easy. We made it in, check out all the cars. We were four minutes late and look at the line that we got ourselves into. This car right here might be like my top five right now. Smoked Topaz Metallic M3 with the champagne-ish brown colored HREs. That thing is beautiful. Well, we got Bimmer Trend here sweating it up. We are doing mods on mods to this car, even when it's at a show. We got all this titanium. Not all of it is going into the car. Trevor won't let me, but a good chunk of it is, and we are making these boring bolts look sick. Now, if you want anything titanium as far as dress-up bolts, Bimmer Trend is the place to go. This stuff is such good quality. Look at that. Now, there is a different option. We could do the blue and then swap this washer over and it'll have like a purplish effect. This looks a lot more uniform and a lot more put together, which is what I like. So let me know down in the comments if I should flip them. The other side looks like that instead of the blue. Now, Bimmer Trend is gonna have these on pre-order. I will link Bimmer Trend in the description and check them out because they have the best stuff. And if you don't want titanium, they also have car parts. Well, it's all done two hours later, not an hour, but it looks really good. Now I have an excuse to pop my engine bay, which also means I have to wash my car more, but it's okay. It's worth it. Now just wait one day, there'll be a turbo sitting right there. We're in a Grail booth. Mm -hmm. We have Grail exhaust. Yep. Why don't we have a rev off again? You want to lose again? We did Third off time camera. Already? Third time? Yeah, third you time, why not? lost to a 40 roll, a 60 roll, and now you want to lose to an exhaust roll? <laughs> this heat's really getting to you, man.
us down, you win on volume. Yeah. No, 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 no. Right, yeah. I was gonna say, I was gonna Yeah, okay, oh. there you go. <laughs> so, Adro has created something for the Mark V Supra that has made me wanna spend some money, potentially. They created a brand new front bumper for the car. And it makes it, it looks kind of like a GR86, but at the same time, from the front end, it makes it more of a BMW kind of thing because it makes the sides of the bumper lower, which, hold, which drops the whole like front end of the car. Because what I hate is that my car's frame is lower than any of my other cars, but the front lip is still the highest. Let me know if you think it'd be worth it to get an Adro bumper, since we're gonna be repainting the hood and probably the fenders. We might as well just do the whole clip, right? Yeah. Yeah. You still find a way to lose. <laughs> take it off. I'm gonna go take a shower. <laughs> All right. I told you. Where's Trevor? I told you. This would give Trevor a run for his money. Not gonna lie. So you like your car? I can't believe you're gonna be like Diversito. Dude, look at how low he is in the front. Yeah. Now this. This is where the super will be one day. Good big turbo. Dog. Good big turbo. Dude, have you seen this kid's videos? This thing is fast. Hey, after you get a single turbo on your super, you can race my M4. Don't make me put the clip in. <laughs> M4 CSL, oh it's M3, gosh. I'm like canceled now. It's an M3 CS. <laughs> All right, so the Pars Core car is cool, right? That, that is beautiful. Yeah. See, I need one of these, but I need that to be up there. If that was up there. Bottom mounts, but top mounts. Top mounts. The more I see these cars, the less I think Huracan, the more I think we just send it on, a sup on the Supra, but no, no, Huracan first and then more. Dog. The parachutes? Well, it's funny though. We still find a way to lose. It is so hot. The cones are melting. I think that means it's time to go home. I am melting, let's go home. Yeah, we'll see you at the rally tomorrow. It's rally day. And look at this, E85, and it's not $5 a gallon. Here we go. All right, it's time to feel some E85. <laughs> it's been a while. I don't know why I waited so long to do E50 on this car again. Look who else made it. Vlad, I told you 745. This man showed up at 950 here, not waking up at 745. And not, we're ready to leave now. That is true, easy. that is true. It must be a BMW thing to be late because we were supposed to leave like 10 minutes ago. All right, we're rolling. We just finished a driver's meeting and we are behind a thousand plus horsepower M3. We got the Adro car ahead of him. And then we got an M4 behind us with front mount intakes. And it sounds wild. Also, I'm pretty sure with E85, my front mounts are a little bit louder because we can hear them on the freeway now. You're in charge of the maps. I got you. You tell me where to go, okay? And if we miss a turn, you invite me. no dinner tonight.
27 degrees and raining. Look at this. But look at that though. Speed Shield is putting in the work. Look at all this rain just bead right off. Link in description. Speed Shield is a must for every car. And if we just do a little pull right now, it's all gonna go away. stop the rain kind of slowed down and we are at a winery this is pretty cool we need those we need those trees at our house they're beautiful they're like poplars i know but they look like our bikes like, cool whatever they are Ooh, ah. we don't need a driveway like this though <laughs> okay i'll take this driveway though this is cool Well, I think this is gonna conclude our trip. We are gonna start driving back home. So I won't end the video until we get home. That way you know we got there safe. And here we are, home sweet home. We got the Corvette sitting pretty right here in the garage. We're back home, which means we got a lot more stuff to do. But I do have to say, after doing 3,000 miles in the M4, versus 3300 in the Supra, the M4 is a much better road trip car than the Supra. You get more room, it gets the same gas mileage, and it's faster. But I think it's gonna be wrap for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and the bell. And I will see you next time. Drive safe.